I greet you all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to welcome you uh, to this time as I share the word of God together with you, which I believe is going to bless you. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, wherever you are viewing me from or wherever you are listening me from, I am Pastor Joseph Ngaroya John from Full Gospel Churches of Kenya, Gedurai 44 in Kenya. And I want to share the word of God together with you in the book of Psalms, chapter 143, from verse 1 up to verse 5. We are going to share this word, which I want to share with you. I want to highlight uh, to you some points, which I believe is going to become a blessing. It is going to become a source of encouragement to you at this particular moment in the name of Jesus Christ. So before I share the word of God, I want to pray together with you uh, in brief. And I believe that God is going to bless you. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I want to worship you. I want to thank you and I want to celebrate you. Thank you because you are the King of Kings. Even now, you are still on your throne. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, watching every uh, moment of our life. And I want to appreciate you because you have sustained us by your grace in Jesus' name. Bless my viewer, bless my listener, wherever they are viewing me from, for it is in Christ Jesus I do pray and believe. The Bible in the book of Psalms chapter 143 uh, from verse 1, uh, it has got 12 verses. Psalms 143 has got 12 verses, but I want to share with you, amongst uh, the 12 verses, I want to share with you uh, from verse 1 up to verse 5, and I believe that the Lord God is going to bless you. This is what the Bible says. O Lord, hear my prayer. Listen to my cry for mercy. In your faithfulness and righteousness, come to my relief. Do not bring your servant into judgment, for no one uh, living is righteous before you. The enemy pursues me. He crushes me to the ground. He makes me dwell in darkness like those long dead. So my spirit grows faint within me. My heart within me is dismayed. Verse 5. I remember the days of long ago. Immediate, uh, uh, I, I meditate on all your work and consider what your hands have done. Praise the name of the living God. I want to, to share with you briefly the word of God, which I believe is going to become uh, blessings to you. Because we are in this time whereby we are so much uh, troubled by this issue of corona pandemic. We are all feeling like David, like what he has said in this psalm. We are feeling so much weary. We are feeling so much tired. It is like we don't have any more strength in us that we can push forward. We are feeling so much frustrated. We are feeling so much defeated. But we see, as much as David felt like that, he had something to, uh, to, to write. He wrote something to remind us about the goodness of our Lord at a time like this. As much as we are feeling like that, we should not stop at this point, the point of frustration, the point of feeling as if all is lost. Because I want to assure you that all is not lost uh, as we put our trust and our hope in the Lord God. He is going to quicken us, he's going to revive us, he's going to restore us the lost hope that we have lost in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So I want us to, to run from David when he felt like the way you, you are feeling right now, when he felt like all is lost, when he felt frustrated and as if he was defeated. What did he do? He resorted to turning to God. And as he turned to God, he drew his source of strength from God. And this is what I want us to do. At this particular moment, we need to look unto our God. Even the Bible says in the book of Hebrews, chapter 12 and verse 2, looking unto Jesus, 
the author and the perfecter of our faith. There is no other place we can draw our strength. There is no other place that we can feel encouraged. There is no other place we can be comforted. It is only in the word of God. And I want to share with you uh, some uh, key points that can help you and I to overcome the kind of the feelings we are feeling at this particular moment in our life in the name of Jesus. So as much as David felt like you are feeling, you are feeling you are at your lowest moment, you are feeling discouraged, I want to share with you that God, together with David, we need to concur with David. We need to come back to our senses in order for us to see what can we do at this particular moment. So it doesn't matter whether you are feeling frustrated, you are feeling discouraged. One thing that I want to submit to you is that where you are is not your final place. It is not your destiny. God has destined you to greater things. You have a future in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So we want us to learn from David uh, for us to know, to understand what kept him going in the midst of all that surrounded him at, at that particular moment. So we, I know that we have prayed. I know that we are still in prayer, praying to God and seeking divine intervention, that God is going to intervene in our life so that all that is happening around the world, this COVID-19, this pandemic called Corona pandemic, it is going to, to come to an end in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So we know that there is power in prayer. We know that prayer work, and that is why you see, as we turn to God through prayer, not only we are supposed to pray, but Jesus Christ said that what we are praying for, we should believe that God in heaven is, uh, is taking care of it in the name of Jesus. So it is after prayer, we believe that it is settled, it is done. God has done it in heaven in the name of Jesus Christ. So what did David do? What action did David took when he felt the way we are feeling? When he felt the way you are feeling? When he felt the way I am feeling at this particular moment? I know that actually there are so many things that we want to see God restore them to order. We want to see order in our nation. We want to see order in our day-to-day -day life. But we want to see what this great man of God did in his life in the name of Jesus Christ. So after David encountered all that he encountered in his life, we see that the first thing David did is that he turned to God. And that we, we can lead from verse 1 is that he prayed. So the Bible says that, O oh Lord, hear my prayer. Listen to my cry for mercy. In your faithfulness and righteousness, come to my relief. As much as God is God, one thing that he is waiting us to do is that he is waiting that we may take an action of faith. We go to him by faith. As much as we are supposed to, 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 to conduct, the way we are supposed to conduct our life, it is only through faith in Christ Jesus. And this is what we are supposed to do. When he encountered all that he encountered in his life, the Bible says that he turned to God through prayer. This is what uh, I, am pray, I, I am requesting you wherever you are. Don't feel discouraged, but turn like David did to turn to God. Because prayer, when we pray, prayer is the encounter of God's heart with ours. God is ready to encounter with our life through prayer. So prayer we, is two way. We normally communicate to God, and as much as God communicated to us through his word, he has given us one avenue that we can communicate to him, and that is what we call prayer. So God thus 
is that he lasts for us. God has at a level of thirst. He lasts that we go to him through prayer. We, and we, we request him. We present our needs. We seek his face. And when we do so, God is going to help us to overcome whatever we are, we are going through. So you see, David poured his heart before God. He turned to God in time of need. He turned to God when he felt as if he wanted to give up. He turned to God when he felt he, he, felt he, he was so down. And this is what I am requesting you in the name of Jesus. He wrote these psalms for a time like this. What we are supposed to do when we are facing crisis in our life, we need to pray. The first thing we need to do is to turn to God through prayer in the name of Jesus. When we turn to God through prayer, the Bible says in the book of Psalms chapter 65 and verse 2, Psalms chapter 65 and verse 2, we can read together. Psalms chapter 65 and verse 2, this is what the Bible says. Psalms chapter 65 and verse 2. O oh, you who hear prayer, to you all men will come. O oh, you who hear prayer, to you all men will come. The Bible continued to say, when we were overwhelmed, overwhelmed by sins, you forgave uh, our transgression. Praise the name of the living God. So, blessed, verse 4 continues to say, blessed are those who, who, who are those you choose and bring near to live in your courts. We are filled with the good things of your house, of your holy temple. So the issue, the emphasis here is that God, there is God in heaven who hear prayer. And this is what David did. When he realized that there is God in heaven who hear prayer, the Bible says that he said that, oh, to you, oh, to you who hear prayer, all men will come to you. We need to go to God so that we may take our, we may present our needs. We may present our request to him. And the Bible says that God is ready to hear us. The book of Matthew chapter 7 and verse 7. The Bible says that pray and it shall be given. In the, uh, the, the same verse continue to say that seek and it you shall find. The same verse, Matthew chapter 7 verse 7 continue to say knock and it shall be opened for you. So at a time uh, that we feel we are in a crisis, we feel that we are confused, we need to turn to God through prayer. So David prayed in these Psalms. He prayed in Psalms chapter 143 verse 1 and he said, O oh Lord, hear my prayer. I encourage you. I know that you have been praying and I also stand here to encourage you. Keep on praying. As much as there is someone praying here on earth, I want to assure you that there is someone in heaven who is ready to hear us because that is what the Bible have confirmed in the book of Psalms chapter 65 and verse 2. To you who hear prayer, to, all, to you all men will come. Kindly, we need to turn to God at this particular moment. This is not a moment that we need to be frustrated. This is not a, mo a moment that we need to reach to a point of despondency. That moment that we feel that as if all is, not, all is lost. I want to assure you all is not lost because we are about to recover that which we have lost through prayer in Jesus' mighty name. Another thing that David did at that particular moment, he felt that it is as if he was losing. The Bible says in verse 5, he meditated on God's work. He meditated on God's work. So the first thing he did is that he prayed. The second thing he did is, the Bible says that he meditated on God's work. And it, that's what the Bible say in the Bible, in, the, in verse 5. Psalms chapter 143 and verse 5 says, I remember the days of long ago. I meditate on all your works and consider what your hands have done. When we talk about meditating, to meditate is to think deeply 
about something. It is meditating is to consider. <coughs> Sorry. It is to consider. You need to pause in your life in order for you to pause a little bit. You need to slow down a little bit. And as much as you are slowing down, you need to consider. The Bible says that David remembered the days of long ago. He remembered the work that God delivered his people. He remembered how God uh, fought many battles for his people. He remembered how God in the past, how he blessed those people whom you never thought as if they are going to receive the blessing. He remembered what God did to the patriarch of faith. And that is very important.